welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. DIY number one. Welcome, welcome everybody. Okay, so I took this bag that I got for $2 at the Family Dollar. I also have a sign here that came from the Dollar Tree. And then I've got these slats that came out of a set of shutter doors that my uh, best friend actually gave to me. Now, I just took that paper and peeled it right off the top of that sign that came from the Dollar Tree. Super simple. It comes right off. That way I didn't have to mess with the glitter and all that nonsense. Now, I'm going to take these slats and just add them to the back of this sign or front of this sign it's going to be the front of our sign <laughs> anyways we're just going to kind of add them like um staggered to kind of make it look like ship lap. this turns out so stinking cute y'all super simple super super simple so and you could do this with like paint sticks or craft sticks anything like that you could do this with i just chose to do the shutter sticks because i had them so anyways i just continue to add these right down the side right down the middle of this uh sign here and i would kind of lift it up and make sure that i had them even um keeping them all in line everything staggered at the same distance you know or height or whatever just went all the way down the sign with it now I'm going to take the bag, cut it out. I'm cutting it away from the other side. I just want that front part because I actually kept the back. I think I can maybe do another DIY with this. I think the trees on this are so stinking cute. So I just took this bag and cut out the trees. You'll see exactly what I'm doing here in a second. Um, I just cut that part out and then I'm going to take my scissors and go right down the edge of these trees. Now when I get to the middle portion of the trees, I'm actually going to take my X-Acto knife and kind of go at it with that because it, it was a little hard to do with the scissors going down the middle. But as you see there, I've got the um, X-Acto knife and I just go right down the edge of the trees. Just cutting them out, super easy, a little tedious, did take a little time. Um, obviously this video is sped up for y'all's convenience, but it, you know, I just went real slow, cut them out. I did leave some of that background on the bottom portion of the trees. That way they would have, you know, they would stay together. So I took my sandpaper and went in between each of those slats and then down the edges of them just to really, really distress them and make it super farmhouse. All right. I'm going to take some Mod Podge. Just add it to the back of this little set of trees that I've got. And now is when the fun happens. <laughs> Look at this set of trees here, y'all. Just watch. Oh, yeah. The entire thing rolls up. Check it out. So, I just find the middle of my sign, take that middle tree, hold it down, and start Mod Podging the rest of them. I'm thinking if I can get enough Mod Podge on the top that this will stay down. Well, it took a lot of Mod Podge, y'all. A crap ton. Like, I just kept adding it and kept adding it and kept wiping and kept pushing. And this, I honestly thought about scrapping this, just saying to heck with it. This is not going to work. I thought I would never get them to stay down because I honestly had to continue to keep doing it. But it turns out to be totally, totally worth it because it is so, so stinking cute when I'm done. So, like I said, I just added that Mod Podge right to the top. I just kept going over it until I, and now that little tree there that y'all saw me just cut, that one, the um, stem of it, or the whatever, it came off. So, I actually just snipped it down, made it a little shorter, and put it right back on. But, like I said, I just continued to go over the top of it with the Mod Podge until I finally got it stuck down. And even when it was dry, there were a couple pieces that didn't want to stick, but for the most part, it was nice and smooth, and it was, it was stuck. Now, I'm going to take some of this berry garland that I got from the Dollar Tree. I figured out what length I needed, and then I just doubled it up and cut it off. Now, I started out wrapping it around my hand because I thought it would be really cute, and it would have been, but I thought it would be really cute to have it um, 
kind of spiral, you know, have the hanger kind of spiral, but I knew that as soon as I went to hang the thing, it was going to straighten itself back out. So I just straightened it out, took the two pieces and kind of wound them together just to make one, one solid uh, strand. I'm just going to flip this sign over, add a little hot glue to the edge, pop that thing right down. I take a piece of a craft stick, hold over the top of it just to give it a little more support so that it will stay nice and on there. Y'all, this was so easy. So, so easy. And it turns out fabulous. DIY number two. Okay, so I took this wood pillar bowl that I got for $2.99 at the Goodwill. Um, I just could not pass it up, y'all. When I seen it, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. it. It was just perfect. I bought this pillar candle, and now this was actually $3 at the Dollar Journal, which I thought was a little steep for a candle, but eh, whatever. Um, I got these for a dollar a piece at the Dollar General. I'm going to take this black chalkboard paint that I always use. I buy it at the Dollar General. It's like two dollars for that little bottle and it works great now this thing was already black but it was pretty scuffed up and it was a little rough looking so I went ahead and gave it a fresh coat of paint I'm gonna take my heat gun and dry it there's always a link in the description box for that heat gun it works fantastic all right now I took some sandpaper and went around the edges and look at how that distressed oh I love it all right now I'm taking this garland that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to kind of play with it. I've got some uh, berries from the Dollar Tree. And I've also got these picks. I wish I had had three of them, but it works out because I end up being able to, to fix it up. But anyways, what I did was I took the, took the um, candles, placed them in there, kind of got the position that I wanted. I realized that they were going to be too short. The smaller candles were needed a little height to them. So I just took some of the um, tumbling tire blocks or jingle blocks, whatever you want to call them, and started gluing them to the bottom of that candle. So what I actually ended up with was six Jenga blocks glued to the bottom. So two, three sets of two right on the bottom just to give it that height. And I did that to all three of those uh, candles. That way it would sit up and you could at least see the uh, twine that was around it, that real pretty Christmassy twine that it had. I loved that red and white, you know, that looked really good. So. I just continued to do that. I just added um, the Jenga blocks to each of the candles. This turns out really, really pretty. Matter of fact, I had this sold literally right after I made it. <laughs> now, I took that garland and instead of just wrapping it around this thing, I actually cut off sections of it and kind of fluffed it out and squished it and whatever and made it into a little ball and put in between those candles. Now I am gonna add a little bit in front of the candles, but I didn't want a whole lot because I was having a hard time with them, you know, being able to be seen standing up above that the side of that uh, bowl. So I just took one strip of that garland and went right around the outside edge there. Now I'm gonna take these picks, take the bottom off. They had like a, a little clamp on them, so I just slid those in there. I'm gonna take those extra berries that I have and make a third section of this. Just took those berries. I had an extra pine cone that was on another pick that came from the Dollar Tree. And then I've got some cotton that my daughter picked me. Pop that in there and this is done. So simple and so pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this.
moving right along DIY number three so this one is my favorite out of all of them I've got these two pan uh, buckets that I got from the Dollar Tree I also have the dowel rods I got those at the Dollar General I have the two soccer balls from the Dollar Tree I have the rocks from the Dollar Tree all these flowers and picks from the Dollar Tree and a pool noodle now I wish that I had had um, like floral foam for this actually the the pool noodle usually works pretty good to use as floral foam but for this in particular i wish i'd have actually had a block of floral foam but anyways i just worked with what i had so as you can see there that pool noodle is kind of mashing the or you know it's kind of spreading out that bucket it's making it kind of oddly shaped but anyways i just filled it up with the with the um pool noodle the best that i could got those buckets ready I'm gonna take those flowers and just snip those off right at the top. I left about an inch of the of the stem on each flower and I just snipped these, all of them. Um, I actually saw Megan on Glue Guns and Roses do this exact uh, DIY and I thought, oh my goodness, <laughs> I have got to try this. Like that looks so stinking cute and it is such a great idea. So I'll leave a um, link in the description box for her video. So y'all check that out. She's got great, great DIYs. Like she is fantastic at what she does and she she explains stuff so, so well. So definitely y'all y'all check that out. Now I just took those flowers and as you can see there, I just jabbed them right in the, the soccer ball. Now that soccer ball is foam. Be sure if you're gonna try this, if you do get a, some type of ball, um, don't get the one that's got air in it because obviously that won't work. You need a foam ball. They, they have these at the Dollar Tree all the time, the little balls. All right, now I just continued to add those flowers all the way around this thing. I had some places that you could kind of see the ball and to keep from that happening, I could have painted the balls red. I didn't think about it until after the fact, but you could paint the ball red and then you're not going to, you know, notice it as much, but it was okay because I had some more stuff to go in it. So once I got all the flowers on, I'm going to take these picks that have the berries and um, the pine cones and just some leaves and stuff and add to this, just kind of step it up a notch with, with these, um, we're making topiaries is actually what we're making and they turn out so good. I just, I'm so proud of these. This is my absolute favorite out of this entire video. Now I just took my dowel rod, shoved it up in there. I'm gonna take all my berries and the pine cones and just go all the way around this and kind of fill in any kind of holes that I can see, anywhere I can actually see the ball. I just kind of filled it in there. I'm sorry, I'm kind of out of focus there. Um, or out of out of frame um, but you can see what I'm doing I just filled it all the way around it went with the flowers and the picks okay then I took it and shoved it down in that uh, pool noodle and then added the rocks on top and this one is done it was that simple check this out I love these I added a little ribbon to one of them put a little picture in the other gorgeous DIY number four and our final DIY for today. Okay, so I've got this tree that I got from the Dollar Tree. I've also got some masking tape and then some ribbons that came from Dollar General and also the Dollar Tree. Now, I lost a little bit of footage um, in this part of this video, but what I did was just take that little tree, take all the garland off of it. All I wanted was the frame of this little tree, and then I'm going to cover it completely with that masking tape. That's the part that I lost, the footage that I lost. So as you can see there, I just went around and around and around and totally wrapped this thing with that masking tape. I needed kind of a, a frame to work with. So I painted it with um, Waverly's chalk paint in the color crimson. And I just painted the entire thing. And you could probably skip this part. 
Um, I just did it because I had already made the mistake of not painting those balls in the last DIY. So I wasn't going to make that mistake again. So I just decided I would go in and paint this red. And then that way, if something did show through, then it would be red. All right. Now, I'm taking some uh, burlap ribbon. And I've got this sped up because I ended up not liking this at all. You could see the hot glue coming through it. It was just, oh my gracious, it was a hot mess. You hear me? <laughs> totally a hot mess. Okay, what I did though was I took about three inch pieces of that uh, burlap ribbon. See there, you can see that hot glue bad. Oh, that's terrible looking. Anyways, I took that ribbon, folded it in half, made a little loop out of it, glued it together, and then glued it to that tree. I'm going to show you right here. I just added a little dot of hot glue this time. Very, very small amount of hot glue. Squish it together. Make a little loop. And then we're going to add it to the tree. Now, what we're making is like a little ribbon tree. I've seen these on Pinterest and I think they are so stinking cute. There's probably a right way to do this. <laughs> but I don't know how that is. So, I just did it the best that I could. Um, what I did was just make my loops, add them to the tree. I overlapped them on one corner. Like as I was going around the tree, I would just overlap the next loop. As you can see here, just barely overlap it on the corner there. That way there wasn't huge gaps, you know, in between the ribbon, but there ends up being some pretty good gaps. So anyways, this DIY did not turn out exactly like I thought it was going to, but it still turns out cute. So just bear with me. <laughs> all right, so I just added that ribbon all the way around the tree. I took my, my ribbon, folded it up, as you see here, had my loops ready, and then just continued to go around the tree. Really, this turns out cute. It really does. I just keep adding that ribbon all the way around. Now I'm going to take the red and black buffalo check and do the same exact thing. Just cut me out some about, I would say about two or three inch strips, fold them and just add them to the tree. I love that black and red uh, buffalo check this year for Christmas. Oh my goodness, I'm totally in love with that. Actually, my Christmas tree is going to be kind of rustic. So I'm doing like burlap and red and black and then the white and black um, buffalo check really going to be cute. Let me know in the comments, what is your colors for Christmas? I would love to know. I love hearing that kind of stuff for sure. And don't think for a second, if I don't respond to your comment, that I didn't see it because I definitely try my best to, actually every night before I go to bed, I go through and try to, you know, like speed read <laughs> the comments. I, I enjoy hearing from y'all. I have just had so many comments here lately that I've gotten overwhelmed, honestly, and I've, I'm having a hard time getting back with everybody, but I'm trying. All right, now, when I got to the top of the tree, I just took some of that ribbon, cut the wired edge off, kind of decided about how long I needed it to be, snipped it off. I'm just gonna add some hot glue all over that little piece and then add it flush to the top just to kind of give it that finished look. Now I'm going to take these berries that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to snip these in half. I pulled them right off the stem. I'm going to snip them in half and tuck them in those little gaps. This is the part that I say it didn't turn out exactly the way I seen on Pinterest because the one on Pinterest I saw had only ribbon. No, no kind of um, berries or anything. I had this star left over from the 4th of July. I just popped it on top. And this one is done, y'all. So simple. It really did turn out cute, though.
right, y'all. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. I am so ready for Christmas. I just can't wait. I really hope that y'all have enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And y'all, have a blessed day.